I think it's, it's, it's important for everybody to understand that these aren't brand new principles. We've been working underneath this manifesto for a long, long time. I think the difference is that we uh, are standing up here publicly today um, able to really articulate them to you so that you understand uh, exactly how we operate when we're talking with uh, developers as well as gamers. Uh, and we're excited today to be able to announce uh, our new game program called AMD Gaming Evolved. And I'm going to give you a little more detail on that a little bit later, but uh, we're excited about that development. Now our focus is really, as, as Nigel indicated, it's about delivering a, a better gaming experience, period. And I think for us, um, as we look at uh, the amount of resources that we're committing, the amount of money that we're spending, it's really about trying to make the biggest difference uh, possible for a gamer uh, by aligning ourselves with the industry and not splitting it apart, not bifurcating it, but really trying to build up the health of the PC gaming ecosystem. And I think at the, at the most uh, fundamental level, um, we respect gamers, what they say, what they're telling us, and more importantly, um, we respect the game developers. And I think it's amazing. We're here at GDC this week. We have the, you know, the largest collection of game developers in the world here in one place, and truly some amazingly creative minds at play. And we respect that creativity, and we want to see that creativity be able to end up in the hands of as many gamers as possible. So we've got a couple of examples here of how we listen to gamers. There's a variety of methods that we use. Uh, a couple of polls, one from Hard OCP, uh, one from GameStar, all within the last month, um, basically asking uh, consumers what's important to them and giving us a, a bit of validation in terms of things like an industry standard like DirectX 11. That tells us that continuing to pour investment into educating developers about DirectX 11, seeding them with DirectX 11 cards, and making uh, those features that are unique to DirectX 11 appear in games, that makes sense, and that's what we're gonna continue to do. So by taking this, this technology, like the tessellation engine that we developed uh, a few years ago, we put it into the graphic system for the Xbox 360, it has now become the tessellation standard for DirectX 11. Here is just a few logos from some of the AAA games that are supporting um, an Ifinity uh, experience and some, uh, some great titles up there as well. Um, in addition, there's a much longer list of uh, titles that are supporting Ifinity, and uh, this is available for the public as well on our AMD game website. We continue to update the list as, as uh, titles are added. We are now uh, expanding that quite a bit and really trying to uh, you know, expand the number of titles, if you will, that truly support Ifinity, and, and Richard will talk about that in a little bit.